Study Session 4 Reading Habits Introduction In this study session, reading habits will be discussed with you so that you will be able to understand your own habits. You will learn reading habits usually exhibited during recreational reading and reading habits usually exhibited during reading for academic purposes. In addition to this, this study session will examine some of the habits that are not conducive to effective reading and provide some hints on effective reading habits. It is essential for you to identify your reading habits just as it is important for you to be aware of your driving habits or your health habits. No doubt, some of these habits may be very essential to your survival while some may be detrimental to your progress in life. To be aware of such habits is a first step towards any effort at discouraging the negative habits. This is the essence of this session. Lesson outcomes. When you have studied this session, you should be able to 1. Identify reading habits for recreational purposes. 2. Identify reading habits for academic purposes. 3. Identify habits that are not good for effective reading. And four, identify habits that are good for effective reading. Reading for recreational purposes. In this unit, you'll be acquainted with those reading habits that you can use for recreational purposes. Reading habits for recreational purposes. You have habits, health habits, eating habits, recreational habits, talking habits, sleeping habits, Religious habits, child rearing habits, driving habits, television viewing habits, reading habits, and many more. As you already know, a habit is a constant, often unconscious inclination to perform some acts required through its frequent repetition. It is a practice, an addiction. The American Heritage Dictionary, 1981. You may regret some of your habits as positive. For example, eating at regular times, driving with utmost care, playing tennis twice a week. You also may have some negative habits. For example, excessive consumption of alcohol, procrastinating, cheating, and so on. Some habits are inherited, while some are picked up within the environment or the society. Reading habits can also be quiet or learned. Some of the reading habits that have been observed in students and colleagues will be examined here. For instance, when reading a novel, you may prefer to read by sitting on a comfortable cushion chair with your legs resting on a stool, or you may read on the bed supporting yourself with pillows. Sometimes you may be shaking your legs and pulling your hair. You may decide to interrupt your reading by watching an interesting advertisement on the television, read with your earphones on, increase volume of a radio, or read in a crowded area without feeling distracted. You may even decide to read in a moving vehicle, a train, or a plane. You may also read in a moving vehicle, a train, or a plane. At times, you may also read while cooking or reading specifically to induce sleep. You may chew cola nut necessarily to keep you awake. You may not refer to a dictionary, neither may you mark the novel while reading. Reading habits for academic purposes. In this unit, you'll be taught those reading habits you should display for academic purposes. You should be aware that fellow students that have taken CLA 101 in the past in the university Identify the following reading habits when reading for academic purposes, which you may discover you display yourself. Consuming alcohol before reading, smoking cigarettes while reading, chewing gum, eating something, biscuits, sweets, bread, granites, sipping a drink, for example, soft drink, water, pulling hair, shaking legs, reading barefooted, reading with heavy music on, reading with light music on, reading in an absolutely quiet environment, reading in a noisy atmosphere, reading on a tree, reading on the bed, holding a pen or pencil, making notes while reading, 
dislike for reading in a library because of movement of people, reading alone and facing the wall, and inability to cope with distractions. So more interesting habits were reported by colleagues. One, kneeling down to read. Two, reading late into the night. Three, reading on an organized table and in a room and the other way around. Four, reading better in the early morning hours. Reading habits that affect effective reading. In this unit, you'll be exposed to those reading habits that are not conducive for effective reading. Unit outcomes. When you have studied this unit, you should be able to 1. Identify reading habits that hinder effective reading. Reading habits that hinder effective reading. You have been thought already that a habit is an addiction, sometimes inherited, sometimes acquired. You may at times wish to drop a particular habit that you find embarrassing. December 31st of every year is a day when you usually make your intentions known to stop bad habits and thereafter start a new one. You call it New Year Resolution. At times, you find yourself breaking the habits successfully. However, you may find it difficult keeping to your resolution even for a few days. The willpower may not carry you through. Concerning reading, the following groups of habits are not conducive for effective reading. Those habits that 1. Reduce your level of motivation. Example, reading in a noisy atmosphere. 2. Are hazardous to your health and well-being. Example, smoking cigarette. 3. Frustrate or disturb others around you. Example, chewing gum, smoking cigarette. 4. Induce procrastinating. Example, reading on the bed and sleeping off, eating and reading. These are the benefits you can derive from reading. Now, you should take a look at the good, good ways to break bad habits. 1. Try to discover what is reinforcing a habit and remove it. Avoid or delay the reinforcement. If you have discovered that you take long breaks during reading periods by watching television, resolve to stay out of the room where the television is located or compensate your reading for two hours by watching television for half an hour. 2. Avoid or narrow down cues that elicit the bad habits. If you find that you often develop headache after chewing gum for an hour, avoid or narrow down cues that elicit the bad habits. If you find that you often develop headache after chewing gum for an hour, avoid shopping for gum on your way to the reading place. 
Do not read in a bedroom if the sight of a bed attracts you. 3. Keep track of the number of times that you daily watch an hour of television. Drink Coca-Cola, bite your fingernails, or eat a sweet, chew the gum, etc. The number of times, if high, may help to reduce the urge for the habit. 4. Associate the bad habit with discomfort. Inability to answer a compulsory question in an examination results from procrastination. The discomfort is failing the cost and offering it another year. If you keep this in mind, you may avoid procrastination. Study Session Summary In this study session, you've been taught types of habits. Health, recreational, sleeping, child-rearing, and reading habits. A habit has been defined in the American Heritage Dictionary to be a constant, often unconscious, inclination to perform some act acquired through its frequent repetition. Some habits displayed while reading for pleasure are different from those displayed while reading for academic purposes. While some of these habits promote concentration, others can be hazardous to your health or reduce your level of motivation or be a source of distraction for you and other readers around you. Breaking a bad habit may be difficult, though there are some ends on breaking bad habits as suggested in the text. In addition, more suggestions have been made towards reading efficiently in order for you to derive inherent benefits. End of study session 4. Thanks for listening.